Hello, everyone. Welcome to, I want to have like a graphic, like Tuesday. <laughs> like one of those stock market <gasps> move across things? No, I'm thinking the like, the more you know, the where I go like Tuesday. Yeah. And it like, <laughs> what comes after Monday? Tuesday. A real what comes before Wednesday? Tuesday. Maybe you should be an elementary teacher. <laughs> Kids, what comes after Monday? What day of the week And knowing is this? Ryan, he'd be like, Frets. Uh, Do you want to hear a really awful story? Tuesday? I had a little girl. She was a third grader. She's like, Mr. Jones, what day is your birthday this year? And I said, November. Wow. Well, what a great way to start. <laughs> I was like, eight in the morning. It was so bad. Okay, so anyways, welcome anyway. to Tuesday. And welcome <laughs> to the final video where we're going to talk about 2021. And then and we're never going to talk about it ever again. Then we can slam that book shut and move on. I'm so ready to be done We're going to kick that door it. shut, throw a little match on that building. Yeah. But like we said in the last video, I mean, like, 2021 was good for our businesses. It was really good. It was and really so good this is going to be more of a positive look back on 2021 instead of <laughs> everything else that happened. We're just going to ignore all the socio-political celebrity. Health-wise. Disasters. everything. We're going to just talk about <laughs> Poshmark. Yes. So, <laughs> today's video is going to be A, our top 10 sales gross-wise mm -hmm. for 2021. Each of us are 10 separately. And then we're going to cover our top 10 favorite items that we obtained. That we found. And if they were in the top 10 sales, we didn't pick those. So, so like, we have separate. We got 20 uh, things Per person. Yes. Total. So before we jump into it, I did want to remind you guys that on Thursday, we will be having a bins haul for you guys. Oh, love a bins haul. And home. then on Saturday, Ryan will be here for this What's Sold Saturday. It'll be a normal one. Uh, and I say Ryan will be here. I point that out because he's actually then going on vacation. I leave at five in the morning on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Just who gets to drive me to the airport. So I get to wake up and drive him to oh, the airport nice. and come home and edit a What's Sold Saturday. Wow. I'm going to be having a blast on saturday i gotta go to florida anyway <laughs> go the then the next week ryan will be gone for that whole week so on tuesday not exactly sure if our haul will be two parts yet or if it'll be just me and then thursday will for sure be just me and it probably will be another bins haul because i'm probably gonna go while ryan's gone and then the next Saturday, Ryan still won't be back yet, no. so we're going to have What's Sold Saturday, and it's going to be me and Debbie. And I'm not talking about Deborah. I'm not talking about my week of sales, and Debbie's just going to give some highlights because she's not full-time, so she doesn't have a full week to she's say. She's going to show you all the favorite things that she sold. <laughs> and I'm going to tell her to talk a little bit louder this time, and <laughs> hopefully I can, like scrunch down because debbie when she sits is like this tall She's compared to me teeny, but it's funny it's really funny yeah so that's sweetheart. that's two saturdays from now but we're gonna jump into what we're all here for today yes and i think as always we're just gonna go back and forth starting with our highest sale of 2021 and going down to our 10th highest sale of 2021 yes we interrupt this program for an important announcement. So before we jump into our favorite and our top items of the year, I would like to show you guys this. This is one of the last things that I bought in 2021 and it didn't make it onto the list, not for really any reason. Like I had just gotten it when we were writing this video. Actually, we might've wrote it before, but I do need to talk about this dress and show you guys. It was on my Instagram. So if you follow me on there, you did see it. I saw Stacy commenting in the premieres a few times that I need to show it off to you guys. So I'm going to. This is a Valentino dress that I got for quite a hefty amount at a consignment store. Not too much because it's worth a ton. So before I tell you guys what the retail price on this was, I would like for you to, in the comments below, guess. So I'm going to give you like a couple seconds, type your guesses. This is a fully lace runway Valentino dress. It is inspired by Chinese vase art and fine china art. But this Valentino dress retailed for $11,700. So this thing is absolutely insane. The only issues I had found with it were there's like some light makeup marks along the collar, but otherwise like this thing's perfect. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. I have it listed right now, but it could end up at the real real. you never know. This, I just had to show you guys. It's not on my list, but it should be. And yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> I suppose that I will just start it off and this is gonna sound quite familiar to you guys because literally on the last week. Of this 20 sold 
as the door was shutting on the on, end of the year. On the last week of 2021, I had my highest sale of the year by far. So my highest sale this year was this stunning and amazing Burberry faux fur pink coat. And of course, I had to go to the Poshmark headquarters to be authenticated. And it is actually arriving today as we're filming. So by oh, the time you guys love. are seeing this, she has received it. That redeemable is just going to... And this coat sold for $1,650, and that was on Poshmark. And so we're going to kind of cover where it sold, where we got it, possibly mm -hmm. what we paid for it, if we can remember, and then kind of how long maybe that we had it. So yes, this sold on Poshmark, mm -hmm. and I paid $300. It was actually like $298 or something like that, but $300 basically. And I got this from a consignment store, and I knew it was going to be worth it as soon as I found it, because it was on a runway it had been worn by ed sheeran it was super new like it was from like the past two or three years it was so soft and it, so soft. it also retailed at three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and so i actually had it listed for twenty three hundred that's a lot obviously sixty and fifty i was gonna take is that half off a little more than half so that was yeah. like a really good offer that's a really good i offer. did not counter mm -hmm. I did. and i think i had sent so out 2000 with free shipping so that's like really not that bad basically offer. same thing so yeah that was my best sale of 2021 okay so my best sale of 2021 sold in ballpark but like we're not playing the same game i sold this pair of gucci black marmont 75 leather ankle booties and these y'all gonna kill me they were free to me i sold them on consignment from one of my best friend's mothers i went over to visit i don't remember when or for what that was and early in the year that was i think when you were there for i Christmas. was home for like new, I was home for like New Year, yeah. yeah. And she was like, "Ryan, will you sell these for me?" And I said, "Yes, ma'am." And I did, and they sold full price on Trade Z for one thousand and twelve dollars and eighty cents. So a thousand with Trade Z shipping. Yeah, I don't. I honestly didn't think that I had these shipping. I thought I was like free shipping because <laughs> you're a thousand dollars. But she'd never worn them. They were absolutely stunning. So yeah. And I forgot to say for the Burberry coat, I think I had it less than a year. Probably like six months. I had these shocking. for uh, like two weeks. For like a year. Oh, yeah. No, duh. No, it was just a year ago. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. So my second highest was another quite recent one. Actually, quite a few of my high ones just happened like this past month, which is really weird. So my second highest was this pair of Stella McCartney floral embroidered wool pants. So and this cute. is one of my favorite collections she's ever done. There's a coat version that I wish I could own myself. And, but it's like $800. It's like... It's, it's, it's like nine hundred dollars. It's like two and a half thousand. That's real expensive. And this sold for eight hundred and one dollar. And a lot of you guys said that you think she offered that because maybe I had auto decline set if it was eight, and so she did eight hundred one just in case, which actually makes a lot of oh, sense. Oh, yeah, because okay. I was like, what's with the one? What did you have in price set? A thousand. Okay, which that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, or she's that was like a really good offer. Maybe it's like her lucky number. I guess. And so these I think I had for probably about a year, and they finally sold. Which not finally. That's actually really quick to move mm -hmm. an eight hundred dollar item. These I got online arbitrage, and you guys are gonna like your head's gonna explode. I got these for forty dollars, I believe. It was like thirty six or seven plus shipping. It was literally like forty bucks. Jack told my uncle that, and he got mad. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they sold for 801 in about a year, and that was on eBay. eBay, which I'm not going to call it that anymore because I love you, love eBay. <laughs> anyway, my second highest sale of the year is this pair of beautiful Louis Vuitton brown monogram booties. They do have a name, the Charlotte. I kept calling them the, like, I don't know what. I think you said the Charlene. Charlene. Close. close enough. Um, these did sell in a bundle, but I had them listed at $800. I think I netted about five after like the bundle fee. Um, I got these at a consignment store and they were, how much were they? Like one, 150, 60 to 180. I got them on Labor Day. I bought them on Labor Day. My third highest sale of the year is this definitely would have been in my top 10 favorites. But like I said, we couldn't count those ones. And it was this Agua by Agua Bendita Coral Linen Maxi Long Sleeve Dress. This is my favorite, favorite Agua Bendita that I've ever had and possibly my favorite one that she's ever made. It is just stunning and it is like witchy core to the extreme. This, oh, this so one is just, beautiful. She usually doesn't use like 
or they, I don't know who. I think it's probably like a team that makes them. They don't usually use black. And so this was just such a really Is interesting one. Is it black one. or was it navy? Well, it was like I always super, thought it was navy. Super, 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 super dark navy. It was basically black. Navy. And this was actually, I think my first one that I got. And so that was really exciting too. This one actually sold in a bundle. So it says it sold for 795, but the bundle sold for like over a thousand and it was two Agua dresses. So I don't exactly know the number for this, but we'll just say it sold for 795. It could have because it had a ton of likes. This sold in a month or less for sure, probably less. Mm -hmm. And it sold on Poshmark. And I think for this one, I paid probably like 125, which was a deal that's a really good deal of a deal okay so my third best sale of the year sold recently when does it say oh december 21st and i got these on poshmark i paid 80 and then the seven dollar shipping so like around 90 dollars. what another steal <laughs> i was gonna say another like wow i was nervous about him so okay what are they? me beating around the bush <laughs> they were the prada um, I do not remember the actual name, and though I have glasses, I cannot read this teeny tiny little It was little like print a metallic laptop. It was a yeah. really beautiful, detailed silk um, floral pattern with like all this kind of gold threading throughout. They were absolutely stunning. Um, I was nervous because they were five and a half. And I know that like designer shoes are kind of out of the rule of like don't buy small sizes because like you know a lot of people that buy designer shoes have small feet. Uh, but they sold for five hundred and seven dollars on Tradesy. I think I netted like four hundred, so minus the. $90, I make like 300 bucks. That was change. really fast too. That was like a month. They sold not even quite quickly. So my next one was another Agua by Agua Bandita. And of course, you're <laughs> going to see quite a few of these in the top 10. And it was this floral tropical bird printed puff sleeve maxi dress. And this was actually another eBay sale. And this was actually another one that was in the past month. This mm -hmm. was like three weeks ago. And this sold for $700. And this actually, a lot of the ones I find for some reason are new with tag and this one was not and it actually had some dirt along the hem so for this to be my second highest sold one ever and actually since that one other one did sell in a bundle this might have been basically my highest agua ever so that's just crazy since this is the worst condition one i've ever had but this worst one condition. <laughs> i this one i think i also paid like 150 to 200 that's oftentimes the range that i pay for them so pretty so that was a fantastic Okay, so my next one, I was actually kind of obsessed with these. I thought they were adorable. It was this pair of Coach Navy Blue Crop Flared Leather Pants. This was like the Coach Runway stuff. It wasn't like the t-shirts that are in the outlet. 1941. They were $1,100 new, which is absolutely insane, but they're also like lamb leather pants, so that's not shocking. I got them at a little local consignment store. They were like 72 or something, which I completely would have paid, but they were half off. So I paid $37.50 for these. And I was pumped to find them. <laughs> and they sold some little girly from New York Bottom. She's a little fashion student. She's adorable. She followed me on Instagram. She got them for $370, which I don't know what that is after the Poshmark fee, but like very well past my initial about three cute little $37 investment. <laughs> investment. My next one was a new brand to me. And keep your freaking eyes out for this brand if you ever see it. It's absolutely insane what the comps are on this brand. It's wild. And it is called Cordova. And it actually is a brand that makes ski suits and like ski wear. And their stuff is so expensive. And it's basically only worn by like bloggers, the ultra rich and celebrities. And like famous people. Mm -hmm. I just happened to find this in a consignment store for $70. I don't know what kind of Minnesotan is walking around thinking she's Kylie Jenner one of these. I but. didn't even <laughs> know this brand, but I Googled it because I think it said the retail on it or something. And I was like, oh. Wow. All the comps and sold comps are like $1,000. The important ones. So I was like, oh, I'm absolutely getting this. Like Mariah Carey wears this brand all the time. She would. And so this sold for 650. This didn't have any sleeves and it just wasn't as like substantial as some of the ones that sold for a thousand. So I was absolutely happy to take 650. Also mm -hmm. a couple, it had like the name Cordova going down the sides and a couple of the letters had kind of worn away. So yeah, totally, totally willing to take 650 and it sold very fast as well. It was maybe like two months and it sold in October. So going right into kind of winter skiing season and that was on Poshmark. 
Okay, so my next sale is also a Poshmark sale. I, full disclosure, I initially bought this for me. I found it at Nordstrom Rack. It was, I think, one of the only good Clear the Rack finds I've ever had. It was like a hundred and something minus the, I don't remember if it was 40 or 25, but whatever it was, I ended up paying $92. It was this new at Tag Canada Goose Men's The Kent Zip Up Jacket. The only reason I didn't keep it was because it was kind of like a wind wall jacket. It wasn't like, you know, if I'm gonna buy Canada Goose. It's gonna be a puff. I'm gonna look like a marshmallow. Be I won't be able to put my arms down. My face is only gonna be like this because I got that beautiful fur. <sighs> so that's why I decided to sell it. Um, I sold it for $350. They retailed for $650, so not as much as some of the other ones. I think I had it listed at like four to four fifty, like kind of close to retail. And because there really isn't hardly any real men's Canada Goose on Poshmark, I priced it really high. And some lovely woman from Beatonville, Arkansas. Bought it for her husband for 350 big ones. So my sixth one, we're going right back to Agua Bendita. Oh, Lord. And it is this Agua Bendita. I don't have the title of this one, but it's like a patchwork floral kind of blue maxi dress. This, this is a, beautiful. This is a style of hers that's extremely popular. It's the square neck with the maxi length. With them little puffer shoulders. And this one sold for 575 This one, I do not remember what I paid. Again, I would assume about like 150 to 200 And this was another popular mark sale and this was like the third or fourth one I have ever found and it this one sold I just remember this one sold like really really fast sold real reason. quickly mm -hmm. yeah my next sale is a little sentimental one so I found this little pair of sandals when we were in Texas I found them with our friend Melinda when we went and visited and she bought most of the pairs and I bought this pair at a goodwill yeah at a goodwill at a little Texas goodwill full disclosure so they were the Gucci Gigi Marmont black leather slip-on sandals I paid 149 150 dollars basically for them and I was like am I gonna make a whole lot of money probably not but am I gonna at least double it oh yeah and we all knew they were real too oh so instant you yeah. pick them up and you're like they were very oh. nice yeah. and they were all Melinda's size so I was like lucky to get this pair <laughs> so I sold them full asking price for three hundred and fifty dollars after 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 a number 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 of low balls on every single platform and they ended up selling on Poshmark so my next sale is once again agua and then there's still one more so just bear with me so this is another agua bendita and this is another one that is one of my favorites and this is another one that was in my like first time i ever experienced it i bought this with that black one and this was the agua bendita seashell sleeveless maxi dress so pretty this is like a more rare pattern because i think it's like older but it's quite sought after mm -hmm. this pattern is just stunning and i actually have it as a swimsuit in my closet right now too and this one also sold for 575 and this is the one that sold in the bundle with the black one so as she soon as i had me. those two this woman like snatched both of them and i was like so sad to see them go i didn't know if i'd ever have agua again little did i know that i've had it a couple times and yeah i, I, I really yes Dang. I really, really liked this one. That was a really pretty print. We love that one. Okay, so my next one, <gasps> another sentimental sale. So these, when did I get these? I got them. I found them in the bins. They were right after I got back from Boston. So it was like, say goodbye to Lori, went to the bins that night after I got off the flight. And I found these and Glamour bought them. What are they? Uh, they were the Chanel CC Lambskin Cap Toe Ballerina Flats in black with a navy toe. I knew they were authentic. I remember this is literally it's like a core memory There was a sneaker head in the bins in front of me and it was like full It was one of those shoe bins. That's just like up to your eyes. It was beautiful and the homeboy took two pairs of sneakers and said and I just like shuffled. I got probably 15 pairs of shoes from that bin. It was wild. This obviously being the best. Um, she got them for $300, which is a steal of a deal. They retailed at about 800 and then after the most recent price increase, I think they're up to like, <sighs> like nine fifty thousand yeah. dollars which is insane for a pair of flats. <laughs> anyway. My next one is the last Agua that is on this list, and it is this Agua Bandita Coral Maxi Long Sleeve Dress. So, like, same title as that oh, black one, but this so is a different style. This is the coral that's more of, like, coral stripes going up it. It's a beautiful. Once again, stunning. But white can be harder to sell. Still, obviously, it's Agua, so it sold super, super fast. And this one also sold for 575 so I guess these three all sold for literally the exact same price. Whoa. And this one 
didn't take long. It took like a little bit longer than the others. Again, probably because it's white and like, like less than a month. Yeah. And we say oh yeah. A little bit longer. Like, like not here for month. more than maybe two weeks. Yes. And yeah, stunning again. Again, I think I paid this one. I do think I paid two hundred for this. Was for some reason this was like my most expensive one. This might have been like two twenty five. Still worth it. Still stunning. Mm -hmm. Still amazing. That's the last hog on the list, so finally. <laughs> okay, so speaking of Boston, this next find I actually found in Boston. It was, I think, our last Savers trip when I went to go visit Lori. Well, Miss Lori Taylor, Lori's Boston found, love her to death. We were at Savers, and she'll know the name of the town, but every single one of those towns sounds like some old historical figure that I don't bother to know. Um, and it was this beautiful Marc Jacobs Made in Italy black leather satchel. And I think I only paid $3 for this. It was like $4.99 minus the 20. She gave me a coupon because she's an angel. It was like 20, 25% off, whatever it was. Um, and then I sold it to one of you guys. And they also bought a really cute little um, baby jumper with it, like a little onesie. So she got a new purse for mama and a new little, new little jumper. Purse sold for $250. I, with the bundle, I think I sent her like $225 for the purse and then I gave her the onesie for free. So I probably easily made over $180. So ninth, we're almost done with the top sales and we'll jump into the favorites. Yes. Ninth was this Burberry's, so it's vintage, Burberry Irish Tweed, again, I can't say my title, Irish Tweed Gray Coat. Coat. So this I found when I literally found like three tan trench coats and this coat all together at the same store on the same day. And that was probably like a year and a half. No, probably like a year and two months before now. So I had this for actually probably less than a year, which is kind of crazy. And this sold for $525. And for a vintage insane. Burberry, like that's, that's, that's pretty good. That's really good. Mm -hmm. The vintage stuff can be a bit harder to sell, but this like did really well on a bunch of different platforms, but it did end up selling on Posh. And yeah, it was just super nice. I didn't want to send it to the real real because I just thought it was too nice. And I had a feeling that I could sell it. And I did. So cute. Okay, so my next sale also went to one of you guys. This went to the lovely Miss Gina. It was this beautiful Prada vintage brown suede drawstring mini evening bag. I got this at the same chain of the local consignment store as I got those coach pants, but a different location. This one, so I bought it for, it was like 34 or 50 for some reason, those numbers stick out to me. Mm. I didn't pay more than $50 for this. I'll give you that. And I wanted to keep it for myself. It was so cute. Um, She got it for the low, low price of $225. And she loves it. She sends me pictures of it. Oh, Very it so trendy. Cute. It was adorable. It was so cute. So my last and 10th highest sale of the year was this Red Valentino Serpent and Bird Embroidered Denim Jacket. This, again, would absolutely be on my favorites, but we're not allowed to pick that. And so this sold for $500 with free shipping on eBay, but of course it did good all over the place. Mm -hmm. This thing was so cute. And this was another online arbitrage that I think I paid like maybe $90 for, which Red Valentino, I will say, is a bit of a gamble. Yeah. If it's really cute, it'll mm -hmm. do good. If it's not, it does not do that good. And the real, real. Don't pay up for it unless you've. Googled unless it. it's like that. Unless it's like just so cute. Yeah. So, yeah, that was eBay. What'd you sell for? 500. I thought I said, but if I didn't, it sold for $500. Love that. My last and final of my top 10 is a bolo that I learned in 2021. I sold this Doen, the Earl Blue China Floral maxi dress i found this at one of our favorite thrift stores that we do thrift with me's at quite frequently it sold for 210 dollars it was 9.99 minus 25 percent and it had a stain on it and it still has like probably 50 legs on poshmark it was insane it's hold on poshmark if i didn't say it. so now we're going to jump into our 10 favorite items that we obtained in Ugh. 2021 sans the ones that were in the top yes. 10 sales so these could be sold or we may still have them active it didn't really matter <laughs> most also, of mine are sold <laughs> <laughs> also, we'll like power through this a little bit faster just so yeah. you guys aren't here for like 45 minutes. So we're just going to say what it is and wh where we got it, I and guess, how or how we, we got it. My first one is another amazing Burberry coat and it is this velvet textured, beautiful so red. Cool. Once again, it's a runway Burberry coat and this was worn by like a blogger once and it was on the runway and it had a really amazing photo shoot That's of this so whole cute. like collection of this like tweed. And this uh, was an online arbitrage and again i think i paid like 300 it might have been 350 i had this like was. like couple of like this month or two months in the summer where i just found all these like stunning burberry coats for really good deals and i was like get it get it get it, it was insane. i got like three and this one's just beautiful 
and I yeah paid like 300 and it's listed for 2000 my first was so I hate the style but that's also personal preference um I love them because of how fast they sold and because of where I found them my first one of my favorite 2021 personal or sales personal sales items whatever the magnolia pearl brown linen and knee length pantaloons they were fun, I will say. I tried them on with a couple of other Magnolia Pearl pieces I found, and I will say I've <laughs> never felt more comfortable in my entire life. Um, they sold in about six minutes for $175. Bins. And I found them in the bins. Find them in the bins, love it. My next one is another thing that I got online, online arbitrage, and it is this Moschino Cheap and Chic Color Block Blazer. I have seen solds of this thing is so crazy high. And this thing is just mm -hmm. beautiful. If you didn't know, Cheap and Chic Moschino Blazers, if they're interesting, they can be very rare and very valuable. And mm -hmm. that is this one. It is listed right now in my closet for it's... 900. It has It is not sold yet, but it has 32 likes. So it's doing great and I'm okay sitting on it because it is. Stunning. It's quite cute. Okay, so my next one I love was this really cute Coach Disney black leather Mickey ears saddlebag. I do not remember that there was like a coach name for this, but I didn't include it for some reason. I found this at a... I was back in Des Moines by myself again for, I don't remember what, oh, I was painting a mural. That's what I was doing. And I went to um, that little style encore that we go to and I saw the woman in front of me in line because I was saying hi to somebody or buying some or doing whatever. And she was like, yeah, okay, whatever. And they paid her out and it was only $35. And I said, give me that bag. And I bought it. Um, sold for $125 to one of you guys again. Thank you so much. It was an adorable little bag. I don't think she'd ever use it, honestly. She didn't appreciate it. My next one actually is sold and it would have made the list. It would have been the sixth item on my sold list, mm -hmm. except when we wrote, this literally sold like right after we took the screenshots and like wrote this video. Yeah. So it's sold now, but it wasn't when we were writing the list. It is these beautiful Christian Dior canvas platform so, slides they were so pretty oh so i did pay up for these i will say i really wanted to have them in my closet and it was a great great deal mm -hmm. i paid 250 for these from a consignment store and it was a clothes mentor and totally worth it like that was a ton to pay and i knew i wouldn't make like tons and tons of money but they actually sold on tradesy for 5.99 which is and insane. so i will get i think it's like about 500 ish i think i a little less than doubled my money but to be able to say that i had these and they did sell very quickly totally worth it for me my next sale is a personal favorite because it was the first time finding this brand in the wild, it was this Isabel Mineral Paisley Patterned Blouse. I sold it for $65. I definitely would have sold it for more because hindsight is 20, 20. Um, And I got it at Unique, our favorite little thrift store where I found the dough in. And it was like five bucks maybe. Yeah. Cheap, cheap. My next one, I guess technically would have been tied with number 10. I don't know why I didn't pick it to be in the solds, but it's still on this list. And it is this Moschino Cheap and Chic Magician's Blazer. Oh my Love. gosh. I could have gotten a lot more for this, I know, but like, I love it. So it is this cute blazer with this little pair of bunny ears coming out of the pocket. And on the back, there's actually like a little cotton tail. A little bunny tail. Super, so super rare Moschino item. And I probably literally, if I had waited a long time, almost could have got like 2000 Like literally, they have so much value when they're well, rare. Well now it's like collector. It is. It is very collector's. Mm -hmm. And I sold it for 500 That sold, I think, in 24 hours. Not it even. Sold it sold like the quick. day I listed it to someone who is a Moschino collector. She's the biggest Moschino collector in the world. Yeah. So also, I mean, <laughs> I'm happy to see that it went to someone who would really appreciate it like I did. I think she, it's not a museum, but it's like a storefront. Of yeah. like all the beautiful yeah, I think she rents them out. Moschino things. Okay, so my next one was in a recent What Sold Saturday. Uh, it was this Coach Keith Herring Barking Dog Leather Adjustable, the Charles Sling Bag. I just don't like sling bags, but I absolutely loved this, and I'm so upset I didn't keep it, or couldn't keep it, and it sold for $225. My next one is a bougie bag, and it's this Gucci Boston Doctor's Bag. Gucci. This was a Plato's Closet find, and it literally cost me $25. It was $20. $20, whatever it was, or it was 20 to 30, somewhere in there, I know that. And it was in amazing condition. It did not have any canvas like was, rubbing or wear, and the so handles funny. were even in great condition, and it sold for $500 to a someone that watches us, I believe. Mm -hmm. Also, that sold in like under a day. And Very quickly. Again, I probably could have 
with the condition and stuff and how trendy Gucci is, probably could have got closer to a thousand, but like glad someone gets to enjoy a Gucci bag now. And turning a twenty dollar bill into a four hundred dollar bill after that twenty percent in yeah. like a day. I'm not mad. Okay. Yes. So this also came from that exact same playlist yes. closet because they don't know how to price anything, which I'm not mad at. <sighs> so this was I was like out and about running errands by myself and I just popped in because I like to go, but Jack doesn't because it can be a very big waste of time. So this was a newest tag coach bubblegum pink tabby crossbody. I found this over the summer and it was when like the tabbies first came out and they were so extremely hard to find. Like anytime the website would be restocked, they would sell out instantly. This sold for $375 within a day or two. Um, and I got it for 80. I love this bag. It is one of Ryan's top and, 10 <laughs> Yeah, no, it definitely is. And, um, now when you go under the tabbies, every now and again, I'll see this picture because people steal it. Because it looks I like just, a blogger like, picture. <laughs> I, I took it in the parking lot. Yeah. In my little Honda, my little Honda Civic. Yeah. My little brown t-shirt. It was so funny. So next up for me are like my favorite pair of Moschino shoes I've ever had in my closet. And these, I did a really fun Instagram picture with literally this last week it's these moschino scribbled like art drawing sketching shoes these are so cute these were another runway piece and these are just so like fun and cute and cool mm -hmm. and like in a way it looks like a kindergartner could do it but in a way it's like ultra high fashion amazing fantastic groundbreaking everything love and i love them and they're still available for 400 okay so now that i'm realizing that i kind of did this a little wrong <laughs> oops uh, we'll do my next one this was a bins find it was this Fendi Zuka monogram print bucket bag. I remember the day that I found it. Again, it's a core memory. A lovely little woman just picked it up, kind of shook it around a little bit and put it right back. And I said, Phew. it was like the second or third thing I found that day. I was pumped. I didn't know if it was real or not, but like if it looks good at the bids, especially like I'll take the risk. I can just redonate it if I find out it's fake. This was absolutely not. It was a vintage piece and it sold very, very quickly for $400. Because this is what's popular right now. Like I was that look. The Zuka. Hey, there was nowhere in the strap. There was nowhere in the leather. I was pumped. My next one was a consignment store find, and I did pay up for this, and I was quite nervous about paying up because I think I paid like 65 or something. I would have paid 65 bucks for this. It was a and it was one. actually this mother printed galaxy and kind of like Arizona scenery. It was reversible, so one side was galaxy, one side was like a desert jacket. And for mother, 65 seemed like a lot. But then I did some Googling and this is like ultra rare and super valuable, which like I can see why. This thing oh, is yeah. stunning. Easily. And this actually sold definitely in less than a week. I think it was more like three or four days. And this sold for $345, That's which insane. is crazy for a mother jacket. But yeah, I, it's just like beautiful i would have loved to even keep this but i mean when i can make that much money mm -mm. it was so nice okay so my next sale also probably should have been in my top 10 highest <laughs> uh self-portrait red white printed pleated maxi dress i took this lovely instagram picture with it as well i got this at the same consignment store as i got that little prada from the top 10 sales even though this sold for 75 dollars more i bought this on a whim we went the first day because they were running a sale and i saw it and was like God, I should have got it. I ran back the next day, bought it, listed it, and it sold within the day mm -hmm. for three hundred dollars. Um, Paris Hilton already wore this. I don't know if that had something to do with it, <laughs> but I paid I think seventy, sixty or seventy for it. Which I that's what I was nervous about. Was I was like, it's expensive. My next is this Millie dress, and I'm kind of surprised that I have a Millie dress on like a favorite finds of a year video, but this one is just beautiful. So so the print to this, I forget the word for it, but it's like Mexican, like spirit, like animals, it's like, like Mexican, mythological like folk animals. There's a word for it, and I it's not coming to me now, but it was in my title, and it is just so beautiful. This was online arbitrage, and I think I paid like thirty five or something, maybe even forty. But this actually paid. For, this sold for 200 which for Millie is crazy. I and think it's because of the print. Yeah, I think I do this too. print for Millie is pretty popular. I do too. And it sold quite quick. And yeah, I'm sure it's a rare print. My next one I bought at the exact same time as I bought those Louis Vuitton boots. And it was this pair of Gucci red hibiscus heeled slide sandals. This was the summer sandal. And I bought it in the summer. 
Um, so I don't know what rich lady was dropping off all her good shoes. I think they were the same size, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's funny, you found the tabby, which was the bag of the summer, and then you found those sandals, which were the sandals of the summer. Can I say? So I was under the impression, the impression, that these were, because most Gucci is very expensive retail, that these were like $1,000. Retail for 360 that's okay. I just put a zero in that little sold whatever price and then charged two fifty for them. And they sold outright for two hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Which is when things are that amazing. trendy, like they'll sell almost for retail. And I think I had this I had like a seven or an eight. I think it was an eight. And that size was just like not on the website. So mm -hmm. I was like, hee hee. Gotta buy them for me now. My next favorite is one that kind of could be on here twice because I actually had it twice and sold it twice. <laughs> and it was this Ted Baker gold firework flute sleeve dress. And this thing is so cute. And like you guys so have great. heard, I had it two times. Somehow, even though it's like actually really rare, there's a sleeveless version of it that's also very rare, but more common than this one. Like my two solds are like two of the only like four that have ever been on posh interesting i have no clue how mm. but it's beautiful i love it i had the first time i got it i paid up literally like 60 which again for like ted baker i was like that's a lot <laughs> but it paid off and then the second time i found it at consignment store for like 20. so my next two are the only two on this list that are available that's okay <laughs> we will do the lesser price one first this vintage betsy johnson puff sleeve punk 80s dress so if you don't know anything about me i am actually unholy obsessed with like early Betsy Johnson stuff. I think it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I love her weird like punk aesthetic that she had going on in the 80s before she turned like little miss. I'm gonna turn it. 90s, wasn't it? 80s and 90s. Hmm. So this I found at, again, same consignment store as the Silk Portrait and the Prada mm. different location. Um, and I have it listed for $125. And I think the only, there's one little flaw with it because it's from the 80s. In the back, there's a little like split where it like, you know, kind of comes in like a little point and the seam that goes up from that is split up a little bit. And I paid like, I think 10 or $14, not much. So my last one is one that I wish so bad that I could keep for myself, but unfortunately I cannot because they're nowhere near my size. They're so and cool. these are available. They are these Stubbs and Wooden Moon and Sun print canvas slide sandals. I love these. They look like the new popular Dior sandals, mm -hmm. but it's a sun and a moon. They're adorable. Like, that is like combined two things that I love together. They're so cute. And I literally bought these. They're like a woman's like nine or something. And I was like, what if there's a chance I could smash my foot into here? I have a men's like 12, so there was not a chance. And I knew there wouldn't be anyways, but I you did. You buy them just on hold. Yeah, I know? bought them for like 35, which is more than I'd <laughs> like to pay, but only because I was like, <clears throat> smash them onto my foot. You gotta cut a couple of those. Didn't work. So they are listed for 150 because they actually are rare and i love them it's one of those things where like if they don't sell for a while that's fine because i okay. like i like to you can look at them. them every time you yeah. share them okay so my final favorite item is definitely like in the top five favorite things i've ever found thrifting i absolutely love and adore this it was a bins find it is this vintage and i think it's from the 70s the i think it's from the 70s disney mickey mouse character white americana tunic sweater. I yanked this thing out of a bin. I saw that little top hat with them ears and I said, Whoosh. I'm also a huge Disney adult. So I'm kind of like the sixth sense is like, it's here somewhere. You got to go find it kind of a situation. I am the only person to have anything like this listed anywhere that I can find on the internet. And I have listed at $350. It's funny because I looked, I ran past the bin that it was in and looked at it, but I was too distracted by a shoe change that I was like, <laughs> oh no. So here's the thing. Here's the tea. If you really want to get into it, I was headed toward that same shoe change and I snatched it, put it in my cart and didn't look at it until I got home mm -hmm. because I saw the ears and was like, it's Disney something. It, it's worth you yeah. know, minimum $20. Yeah. Lo and behold. And I saw, I knew it was Disney. I was like, eh. <laughs> Anyways, <sighs> so on. now that we are 40 minutes into this, uh, I so hope you guys enjoyed this things. video. Let us know what was your number one highest gross sale all year long. Totally interested what was it and how much did it sell for and where did it sell? I would love to know. And where did you get it? And we will see you guys on... Thursday, Thursday for a, for a bin haul. Oh, it's going to be so fun. And yeah. Goodbye. Bye.